It has been a number of months since the Lenovo Legion Go launched, uh, and during that time, I've noticed that out of all the handheld gaming devices I have available to me, uh, the Lenovo Legion Go is not the one that I turn to uh, when it's the evening time and I'm ready to do some gaming. So in this re-review of sorts, I'm not really gonna get into the speeds and feeds, performance and specs uh, compared to the other handheld gaming devices. This is more about my experience, uh, talking about the strengths uh, of the device, and I do think it is a good device, but ultimately the weaknesses of it and why I end up reaching for a different handheld gaming device in those evening hours when I'm ready to do some gaming. So let's dig in. So first up, I want to cover some of the strengths because I do think the Lenovo Legion Go is a really good device. And first and foremost, the thing that I think really sets this apart uh, and definitely does have me excited about it is this big, beautiful 8.8 .8 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen. This thing is huge. I'm able to see my games very clearly in front of my face uh, and I love it. I also love the taller aspect ratio of this screen compared to some of the other devices. I have never once used the screen on the Lenovo Legion Go and thought, hmm, uh, it's, just, it's just really lacking compared to some of these other devices. Sure, it's not OLED, like the Steam Deck OLED, but it is still a really good screen. And of course, high refresh rate, 144 hertz. Uh, it is one of the fastest ones uh, that I have here. Another thing I love about the Lenovo Legion Go is its dual USB-C ports, one here at the top and one here at the bottom. Uh, now this is awesome because there are certain situations where maybe I want to plug it in to the top. Maybe it's in a dock and it's easier to do it that way. Or maybe the way I'm using it on my lap, it's actually easier to plug into the bottom. Uh, I like having the availability to use either or. Uh, and there are certain times where I'm using AR glasses and I can plug in the headset uh, to one of the ports, but still plug the other one into power to get the full performance out of the device. Uh, either way, I wish that all of the handheld gaming devices out there had the option for two ports because I really think it gives you the, the full options of the device and how you want to use it. Now the next strength is a minor one, but I really love this kickstand. Granted, I don't use it a ton, but when I do need to use it, like making this video now, uh, it is really nice to have. It is sturdy, it is strong. Uh, I never am worrying uh, about it snapping off. It is definitely a really good kickstand. And yes, the Ionia Kuhn and other devices do have kickstands, but this is like the, the first generation uh, Switch kickstand. It's there and it'll get the job done, but it is not like the kickstand on the Legion Go. So another thing I love about the Lenovo Legion Go is its case. It is a really nice heavy duty case. Uh, sure, it's not super hard plastic, uh, but it, it's got enough rigidity in there, enough padding uh, that I feel like the device isn't gonna be hurt. Uh, it's got plenty of space uh, and it's got this uh, nifty little port uh, for charging if you, you wanna be able to charge it while it's in the case. And not every of these uh, devices comes with a case. I'm looking at you, ROG Ally. <laughs> so uh, I wish all of them did, uh, and I wish they were all of the quality of the Legion Go. So the last strength I wanna talk about is the touchpad. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't usually use the touchpad uh, on the Legion Go or even the Steam Deck uh, for gaming. For me, it is mostly about uh, simple, quick navigation. Yes, I do use the touchscreen for the most part, uh, and that's how I'm able to get around the ROG Ally without any problem. Uh, so I don't feel like it needs to be there. It is a nice thing to have. Uh, and this touchpad is responsive. Uh, it's large. I can kind of use it to navigate around the way that I need to. Once again, it is not a, a must have uh, on a device, but it is a nice to have. And the one on the Legion Go is nice. So now let's get to some weaknesses. Some of the reasons why uh, when I sit down to game in the evening, I just kind of breeze past the Go and, <laughs> and go towards something else. Uh, first and foremost, it has to be the weight and the ergonomic feel uh, of actually using it. Now, granted, it is not the heaviest handheld that I have. That is now uh, the Ionia Kuhn at about uh, two or three ounces heavier. But what the Ionia Kuhn has over the Legion Go is that it's more ergonomic. Uh, even though this isn't a sharp edge on the handles here, uh, it is definitely not nice and smooth like the Kuhn uh, or the Steam Deck. This just fits in my hand perfectly. Uh, and with the Lenovo Legion Go, while it is not 
stabbing into my hand. It is not comfortable either. It does not conform to the, the palm of my hand. And so that, with the weight of it, makes long gaming sessions kind of tiring. Uh, and not only that, even though it has really nice big grips to it, uh, it just doesn't conform to, to my hand and the way that I want to use the device. Uh, so it's not horrible, and of course everyone has different hand sizes and kind of ways that they grip devices, but for the way I use it, uh, it is just not comfortable uh, to use for long gaming sessions, especially when you pair it with such a heavy device. Now that leads me to the second weakness of the Legion Go, and that is the fact that these controllers can detach. So I actually think that a lot of this design uh, was, was kept in mind because the controllers can detach. And you know what? I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who would like that option. I mean, I, I use it on my Nintendo Switch, so why don't I like it here? Well, for my handheld PC gaming, it's just not how I use it. Uh, I am never propping this up on a table and detaching the controllers and using it that way. Sure, maybe there are other use cases that, that people are doing, but it's just not the way that I like to use it. So the whole conceit of this device and having the detachable controllers is lost to me and I feel like I'm having to worry about the negativity uh, of having them rather than the positives of having them. Uh, overall, it just kind of like takes away from my enjoyment of the device. Not to mention, because these are detachable, they had to put the bulk of the weight uh, in the main unit and these just end up feeling cheap and chintzy. And, and when it is de detached to the, attached to the device, uh, it makes me worry that over time, uh, these, these are gonna be kind of a weakness uh, and that it's gonna lose out uh, on the rigidity of the device. So once again, it is one of those things where I'm sure people enjoy it because of that. And this device was obviously uh, made with that in mind, but I just feel like I'm getting a worse experience because of it. And on top of that, it brings me to something else I don't care about, and that is FPS mode. The ability to take the right controller uh, off the system, grab this little puck, place it in here with the, uh, the uh, switch flipped on the bottom, and guess what? You have a, a vertical mouse of sorts to use uh, for FPS gaming, which is super cool and it does work well. I, I did use it during my, my testing uh, period with it, but since then, I have never used it. It's just not the way that I like to use handheld gaming devices. And because of that conceit, they've had to add buttons uh, to different places to allow for FPS mode. So uh, instead of uh, stacking the buttons like on the other side, uh, they've got it on a side-by-side -side orientation. And then you have the right bumper extend way further down. Uh, and you add another uh, button here to have a, a left and mount right mouse click. Uh, you also get this scroll wheel, which is super cool. You're, you're getting all the options available to you, but I'm never gonna use that. So when I have it attached to the device, it just feels uh, not symmetrical. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't have the ability to map the buttons uh, in the same way that I would uh, with a normal handheld. Uh, and because this uh, button here over on the side, uh, while it is not by default bound to anything when it is detached, I, I do find myself accidentally pressing it and thinking, oh crap, am I, did I accidentally do something? Uh, no, I, I didn't, it, it's just there. It's just an, another thing to, to think about. While you can still use the scroll wheel while it is detached, which is kind of cool, it just, it's kind of in an awkward place uh, to use it here. You kind of see I need to, to, to change the grip I have uh, on the device to, to allow for, for that scrolling. Once again, I know that is the, the whole idea around the Lenovo Legion Go is to have these uh, detachable controllers and have this awesome FPS mode, which is really good, but it's just not how I use handheld gaming devices. And I just end up feeling like I have a worse experience because of it. A couple more quick things, uh, one being audio. I'm an audio guy and sure, a lot of times I do use uh, headphones when I'm doing some handheld gaming, uh, but in those times where I'm not, I love to have a really good speaker system and there has been a high bar set on the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally. And while the speakers on the Legion Go aren't bad, that's just it, they're just, they're just there, they're serviceable which is not a bad thing, it's just not exciting. Uh, and it, it, it doesn't make me feel like I'm fully immersed in my gaming in the chances that I do you want to use speakers. And the last thing is minor, but why oh why did they put the start and select button down here and not here and here like every other controller under the sun? Uh, to be fair, Lenovo is not the only one that, that has done it. I Neo, like on the Kuhn here, has the start and select down here rather than up in, uh, over here. And 
while it's not a major thing, it's still one of those things where I'm, I'm gaming and I just, I quickly go to reach up for it and I'm like, oh wait, no, it's down here. Uh, and you know, it's, it's not a ton of work to do it, but it, it just, it just gives me pause and it, it still it just boggles my mind. It still boggles my mind why they put it down there. So I know I just went over a bunch of reasons why uh, I don't like the Legion Go. I all do ultimately think it is a good device. Uh, the price is right, it's got good performance. I mean, all the other things uh, that I like about it for sure, uh, but I think the way that it's built and the conceit of having those detachable controllers uh, ultimately make it so that at the end of a long day when I sit down to do some gaming and uh, I look at all the uh, handheld devices that I have available to me, I'll just continue to pass over the Legion Go. And I don't think there's anything that Lenovo can do at this point with this device to change that. Maybe when they make a Go 2 or if they make like a, a Go Mini, uh, they'll make some different design changes that will be better suited for the way that I like to game. As of right now, I'm just gonna continue to pass it over. But I wanna hear from you. Uh, are there things that you love about the Legion Go that, that I don't like about the Legion Go? Because I'm, I'm always down to hear uh, how other people use these handheld gaming devices. Uh, put it down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to PC World for more PC hardware and software goodness. We'll catch you in the next one.